Hello and welcome to Brides MTG. My name is Vyacheslav and if you like my videos, please support me by subscribing to the channel, leave a comment or press the like button. And now I show you my last top 5 <laughs> my digital school magic art video. This will be about artifacts. Artifact is fine, it can be used in every deck, <laughs> not depends on color. But on the fifth place it will be artifact that um, actually can't be used in every deck because it's a uh, the rack. For one colorless mana, it's deal damage to player if that player have not so many cards in hand. So it can be good against decks that play aggressive and put all cards on the table, but especially good it in the deck that can discard opponent's hand. I mean black rack or similar uh, decks with black and hindu Dutarach and hippie, of course. It's uh, very nice because it's a part of my favorite budget deck, but sadly the rack can be used in every old school magic deck. It will be just not so effective. On the fourth place, it will be Felverstone. For two mana, the ramp card that can generate mana only of the color that your opponent has. I mean, no lands. So if your opponent has City of Brass, it gives you any mana for tap. But if your opponent has only Factor Essence Trip Mine, the mana sources, these mana sources don't generate colorful mana, so Felverstone just will not work. At the same time, it's still nice. In old school magic, it's uh, very important to ramp sometimes. You know, many players with power have a moxons and black lotus to play big trees faster. And if you have not so good cards and have not uh, green for use Birds of Paradise or Lanamar Elf, it's nice to have at least stone. Also, it's uh, popular even in modern formats like EDH. On the third place, it will be Disrupting Scepter. For 3 mana, artifact, but for 3 mana and tap, rogue your opponent discard the card. You know, it's very mm, effective way to win the games, <laughs> to provoke your opponent discard the cards. Yeah, Without cards, they can't play something and have not options. And also, Scepter is a good answer for players who draw many cards by help of the power, or just draw engines by other way, like Brain Gazer, you know. So it's a very nice answer. And very nice answer too, but that not will uh, destroy opponent hand is a black vice. Of course, black vice will punish your opponent for draw too many cards. Because after four, he will take damage for each uh, new card. Opponent that wants to be a control and sit with seven cards in hand will take three points of damage each turn. Also, it's very very dangerous to play uh, Feel of fortune to your opponent because if you untap and play some <laughs> black wises, you'll take a lot of damage. Sadly, black wise uh, don't uh, discard <laughs> opponent cards like Scepter, but still do a great job against card advantage. And in the first place, it will be maybe my favorite artifact. It's a uh, Nevernal Disc. For four mana, it's artifact that comes to play tapped. And when for one mana and sacrifice, destroy all permanents, enchantments, artifacts, and creatures. In old school magic, we have no any different permanent. I mean, no, no permanent. It can destroy land. On the factory, if you want it uh, alive, it. <laughs> it's very nice. For any deck, it's way to destroy any trees on the table, any dangerous permanent. And of course, uh, not so fast. Yeah, you need to wait one turn and it can be destroyed by any disenchant or shatter. But uh, blue color have some tricks to untap it. And actually, one extra turn is uh, price of the colorless uh, all permanent destruction spell. So it was my favorite budget old school magic artifacts. If you like my videos, please leave a like and a comment and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye.